Hey everyone, welcome to the Rebel Rave. My name's Rob. Dave could not be with us today, but today we are going to be reviewing something we've never reviewed on the channel. We are reviewing a Black Series helmet. That's right, we are going to be reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian helmet. So stay tuned, let's get into the unboxing. So the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian helmet, this came out in November, well it came out for pre-order in November of 2020. I pre-ordered this the day it was released for pre-order because I was so, so excited about this helmet. The Mandalorian has been amazing to watch. If you haven't seen it, check it out because it is unbelievable. But this helmet came out, um, it was uh, $119.99. I got this on Target's website. and. Um, I was able to pre-order pretty easily. Hasbro um, had plenty for pre-order on their website and I'm pretty sure you can still get them. But this is $119.99, so 120 bucks. The design of the box, as you can see, is slightly different than the older one. So here's the Luke Skywalker Black Series helmet that was just basically a square. This one is a little bit different. It's kind of more on par with the new Black Series figure boxes that kind of have this little bit of an, of an angle here. And it has, as you can see, the uh, little um, illustration or the picture there from the movie. And then it's got some uh, little details here on the side. Um, but that's the box. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open and see what's inside. All right, here we go. That opens this way. We got some paper here on the top. Get the paper out. Oh, I can already see the chrome dome. See if you get that reference. And there, there it is. Well, right off the bat, I'm gonna say this thing looks so much better than I thought it would be in the promo material. Okay, hold on. Look at that. Cue the music. Man, this thing looks awesome. Okay, there's a few more things in here we're gonna uh, show you in just a second. But here is the helmet right off the bat. Right, just right from the get-go looking at this thing, I'm gonna say this thing looks so much better than I thought it would. I was afraid it was going to look very plasticky um, and it wasn't gonna look metallic. Obviously, if this was a real metal helmet, it would be super expensive and super heavy. Speaking of heavy, this thing's got some good weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. Um, oh, the inside looks really cool too. So I'll show you guys the inside more in detail in just a second. But uh, yeah, the, the paint, the finish on this looks really, really, really good. I'm really happy with this paint. It, it, uh, it really does resemble Beskar, what Beskar would look like. Um, so let's see what else is in this box. We got this little uh, manual. Doesn't look like it's got much to it. Yeah, let's see, it's like a trifold. Got some uh, caution, caution stuff. Don't care about that. And uh, some other little thing by Hasbro. Don't care about that. Finally, in one of these little pockets, we have, oh, that's right. This comes, I forgot, this came with a, um, like a tactical light, I guess, that kind of you can attach to the side. Let's be real. Who is gonna leave this on? Like, come on, I think he used this in like one episode. And it's cool, but like, there's nothing cooler than just the helmet on its own in its glory, just like this. So let's see, let's see. Let's find out how this thing works, let's see. Okay, so these, these instructions are not, uh, not very uh, instructional. This, this might as well be like Ikea, and Ikea instructional, because it's got like, no text except for this tiny little text in a million languages. So the first thing we need to do is put a AA battery here on this side. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to pop this thing off without breaking it, because I really don't want to mess this thing up. I will, I will also say this thing is very, um, not fragile, but um, it'll show fingerprints very easily. So if you're gonna have this thing on display, make sure you kind of wipe it down. Uh, let's see here. We gotta pop this thing off. Oh, we got it, we got it. Okay, so this thing, I see. I see this has got like some clips right here that you kind of pinch that just go in here. And they go like that. So to take it off, you're gonna have to pinch right here. And then this comes right off. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how to pop this off. 
I, I gotta be honest with you, you feel like you're kind of gonna break it, so you wanna be gentle with this. Oh, well, I got it, okay, I got it. Same, same idea, same idea. So this, it's got the little clips here, but except it's got four of them. It's got four that you just kind of have to pinch to get out. And then now, you can change the battery, or add, now you can add the battery. Okay, so it's gonna take one AA battery. I've got my AA battery right here. Pop this bad boy in. I really hope, you know, for as much as what you have to do to get into this battery compartment, I really hope this is worth it. I don't think this thing has sound, but from what I understand, it has lights. I think inside the helmet, um, as well as the tack light. So, let's find out. Battery is in. We're gonna put this silver piece back on. And let's go ahead, instead of putting the regular side piece on, let's put the tack light one on. So, it looks like the way the tack light works is it's got these little metal prongs right here that make a contact with the uh, kind of battery portion here or whatever. So, let's see what happens. There it is. There's the tack light. And it will never stay on this helmet. It'll probably go in a drawer. But, let's see. How do you turn this thing on? Oh, there's already lights on inside the helmet. Already something's happening. Right there, these two little bulbs. All that work for these two little bulbs. And, okay, so the button, button is right here. And let's see. Oh, oh, so tactical, right? So there you go, that's your little tack light. On, off, just push this little button and it says, Cycle through light pattern FX. Cycle through light pattern FX. I'm seeing on and off. That's all I'm seeing. So, uh, what happens if I hold it? If I hold the light. Okay, so if you hold the light, it just kind of dims on. So, uh, yeah, talk about underwhelming, right? I would say of all the Black Series helmet I have uh, purchased, this will probably be the most underwhelming as far as electronics go. It's got no sound and it's got this little kind of useless little flashlight, which we are not going to use. We're going to use the uh, standard piece, just like that. But as far as the rest of the lights, that's it right there. That's the only electronics you get. So yeah, I mean, whatever. I'm going to display this thing. Um, I'm not really a cosplayer type person. My kids, though, are gonna be really excited to put this thing on. Oh, baby Mando. Let's talk about the inside. Actually, no, let me, let me put this thing on first. How have I not done that yet? Let's put this thing on. Moment of truth. Here we go. Little snug. Woo. Here you go. Okay, so I'm editing this video right now, and um, I'm just now realizing that you can totally like see my nose through like the the tinted plastic of the uh, I don't know visor or whatever you would call that. Um, it is worth mentioning I did have two very bright like studio lights in front of me just to help with the lighting. Um, so you know I think under normal lighting environments like this, um, I think it would be okay. Um, if you're outside it might be an issue. You might be able to see someone's nose inside, but in a normal like living room environment or something like this, it totally works fine. No issues. This is the way. Wait, hold on. It needs, it needs one more thing. There we go. Now it's perfect. I gotta say, this thing fits really nice. You can, the visibility, I would say is a lot better than some of the other helmets. I think I can see better through this than I can through a Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can hear me. But, uh, so, it's got like a, a plastic strap on the inside that is adjustable. I'm gonna see if I can make it a little tighter and see what that does. Okay, I made it like one notch tighter. So, let's see. Oh yeah, it's tighter. See, now it's like doing this swivel thing. See that? 
Huh. So, what's happening here is because it, what's happening is because it's on a swivel, it's kind of like on a swivel here on the ear portion, my eyes keep ending up like right around here and when I push it down, it just flips right back up. So, I think I need to put it back on the larger size. Yeah, oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so, I had it a little too loose, so, okay, yeah, so it fits a lot better now that I uh, adjusted the strap and loosened it again. So, I would say make sure you have this thing not too tight, because if not, it's gonna kinda swivel on you a little bit. And also, make sure that the strap on the inside lays across your forehead. Yeah, lays across your forehead so that if not, because if it doesn't, if it's too high up, then the helmet's gonna kinda swivel on you a little bit and your eyes are gonna end up like right here at the nose area. So this thing is really, really, really cool. It's got some really nice details on the inside. I mean, for people that want to uh, put the time in and kinda put some, uh, some more kinda wear inside, you can easily do that with some black paint. You can add some wear to the inside. I mean, who's really gonna see the inside? So, bottom line with this helmet, this thing is really, really, really cool, man. For, for just like a display piece or even for wearing it, um, it's really comfortable. The little tack light, pointless, don't care about it. The lights inside, super underwhelming. Two little red bulbs, super, super underwhelming. No sound, but hey, that's okay. Um, but overall, the thing that I'm most excited about with this helmet is how real it looks, how metallic it looks. Like, even right here, six inches away, from my face, this thing looks metal. It looks metallic, um, which is really, really cool. So man, I am so excited about this helmet. I'm excited to display it along with some other uh, collectibles that I have here in my office. So if you're gonna be getting this helmet, please let me know in the comments section. If you have any thoughts about it, maybe, maybe there's something that these buttons do that I didn't realize. Maybe there's more than just these lights. Maybe there's some sound that, I don't know. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments section. Go ahead, insult me. Tell me I messed something up. It's okay, I can take it. And uh, hey, if you're a fan of the video, do us a favor, like the video, subscribe down below, hit the bell notification so you can be notified anytime we have a new video. So thank you for checking out this video and may the force be with you.